My name is Marcio Sandri. I'm the president of Composites. We have four pillars uh, in our strategy. And uh, those pillars are building and construction, wind, automotive, and the regional growth that happens in every single country in the planet. In building and construction, we are focusing three things. We are building the capacity to support the growth of that market. We are investing in innovations of new products so that the industry can succeed. And we are investing in increasing the adoption of composites. So here with me, I have Nico Del Monaco, who is the vice president that is in charge of building and construction. I'll hand it over to him to give you some more details. Okay, so if you uh, look at the building and construction market, the, the trends are going towards a uh, building being built much faster, much lighter, lighter structure, ultimately to make the building more efficient as well from an energy point of view. So one of our uh, product lines uh, is the non-woven line, where basically we make tissue, uh, where 70% of the application is in building construction. So as we make these products, we, we bring functionalities, like uh, uh, the product is going to be like, uh, bring mechanical performance, uh, it's going to act as a barrier, or we'll bring more like higher end type of properties like aesthetics, acoustics, and, and visuals. So this year we have some big focus on the gypsum uh, market, where we are bringing new products to the market to accelerate those type of applications, as well as polyiso insulation. Uh, and finally, one of our uh, higher end, the seeding tile business is one where we have a place, a big bet for, for growth. And we are bringing new products this year to the market to continue to improve the level of, uh, of visual and acoustic performance. Regulations is something that we take very seriously. And we think that regulation is a very good support for growth in the market. Mainly because it creates standards that facilitate it for customers. It makes products simpler because there's a standard that you play against and improves the quality that happens in the market. And when you think of those three things, those three things are very important when you have a growing industry. So Owens Corning works closely with customers, with associations and the government agencies to create regulations that support the growth of the market. So yes, regulation impacts our industry. We think that impacts positively and we usually try to work very closely with the people that is involved in regulation so that growth can happen and can happen faster. Composites Rebar uh, is really a market where we as a company have declared our ambition to, to grow. Uh, it's a it's a market today that is uh, not very much penetrated yet, so there is, a, we believe, a large opportunity for, for us as a composites uh, provider. Uh, and in the last 12 months, a lot of things, three key things that have happened in this market that uh, really give us a lot of confidence in what we can achieve. So, number one, ASHTO, uh, who is the uh, American Asso Association uh, for State Highway Transportation Officials, has revised a guideline towards how composites rebar can be used. And this will basically be much more simple for composites rebar to be used compared to steel, as the previous guideline was very stringent on, on composites rebar. Uh, the second is we are working with the uh, American Concrete Institute and later this year we expect to publish uh, a paper that will prove that over time, so about 15 years later, uh, composites rebar show really no or very little degradation compared to other materials. And finally, as we speak, we are in the process of uh, building and expanding capacity in North America uh, and maybe uh, you know, other places of, of the world later on. So we believe with those three things now, we will uh, we'll continue to grow the, the composites rebar market uh, very quickly. Uh, and we are involved in many other projects, like for example, another uh, large bridge in Ohio and, and more to come. For composite to grow in construction, first we want to see construction growing. And that one I know that is happening. I mean, I think the growth of construction average around the globe is 5%, which is a hefty number. And construction is growing because people is May aff can afford for houses today, there is more and more people being able to afford for a house. So there is this first dream of everybody, I want to have my house. The second thing is that those that already have a house want to have a nicer house. So we are seeing that people that has a house want to have a house with better aesthetic, want to have a house with better air quality inside of the house, and want to have a house that lasts longer because that's a big investment that they do. And as they do so, Composite can provide products and applications that help in every single one of them, in aesthetic, 
and the quality of the air inside of the house and, and making the houses last longer. We have our line of product called non-oven. And non-oven is in several applications in the house, in the floor, in the wall, in the ceiling, and several other parts that improves every single aspect of that. So that's how composite grows into housing, into construction. Construction is growing, and the penetration of composite in the house by supporting the house to be nicer, to last longer, and to have better air quality is what is making composite more valuable for the construction industry.